Recently, I had the opportunity to do an international trade with Monica from Amila Pads in Hungary. This will be my very first ever fluffy mail unboxing. Hi everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great week. So as I was saying, Monica and I struck up a deal and I had gone shopping for her for some fabric or yardage of fabric and she sent me over a goodie bag. So as you can see from this stuffed bag here, uh, there's quite a bit and since there's so many items in here, I'm going to limit this video to uh, only include the items that were handmade by the Amila Pad Company. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, and don't forget to subscribe. To make this a little bit easier and so that you can see a little bit better, I'm going to take you down to the table. So give me a second and I'll be right back. First of all, here are the paperwork and some of the littler goodies that she sent to me. This uh, note card is designed by her graphic designer friend and she did leave me a note on the back of it. All of these squares here are um, stickers and they're so cute and I already have some idea of where I want to stick some of them. This little pad is a keychain. Um, it's so cute that I don't want to ruin it. Uh, and I think it's just gonna go on the wall behind me. In the back, it has her tag, and if you can see that, it has this little charm on it that says, made for you. These two here are menstrual cup spots. If you're out and about and you have to empty your cup and need a clean place to set your cup while you clean up, you can put your cup on this. Um, these would be set on like the toilet roll dispenser, um, but you know that it, your menstrual cup is not touching any other surface. So um, this one is hand embroidered and it's so pretty that I, I don't want to use it as a cup spot. Uh, it might actually go on the wall behind me along with the keychain. These three items here are women's petals or interlabial pads. And I'm not going to get into it a whole bunch. Um, I will explain it really quickly, but if you are a very heavy bleeder, a gusher, um, or if you have large clots, uh, you can fold one of these and stick this this between your labia just like that. You don't insert it into your vagina. And this goes against a pad. And the concept behind it is uh, the blood will touch this interlabial pad and um, be directed onto the pad. Uh, so I know that um, Patai had done a video about it. It's a really good video if you're curious or interested in how these work, what they're for, and all that good stuff. I'm going to leave her link down in the description below. This is the pamphlet that you receive when you order from Amila Pads. And on the inside, it uh, gives you a little bit of information about Monica and how she came to open this company and also the design of her pads. I know that there is a little longer version of this story and it is a touching story, um, but some other reviewers had uh, gone over it, so I'm not gonna go over it in this video. I will leave a link to uh, the page on her website uh, that shows those videos and you can click on it to hear more. Also in this pamphlet is how to clean your Amela pads, how you can fold them up when you are on the go. And on this very last page, it's really helpful. Um, these are the different sizes and designs of the pads. And it also shows you which pads come in which absorbencies. If you look up here, a crescent moon indicates a light flow a half moon indicates a moderate flow, and a full moon indicates a heavy flow. Monica has some social media here, and if you can't see it, I'm going to leave all of that information in the description down below. So here are the back of the four pads that I received from Monica, and I wanted to share with you the little features besides the front patterns of these pads. 
First of all, these are all backed with TPU. They come in different colors and TPU stands for thermoplastic polyurethane. It's, um, it's like a diver's suit and on the outside it is like kind of like a fabric it feels like um, but the inside is totally waterproof and this makes it really really thin it's unlike pool fabric or PUL um, which is kind of more plasticky uh, some people think that it makes uh, a lot of noise um, but this is a little bit more grippy and breathable than the regular pool fabric all of the snaps on the Yamilla pads are nickel free. You shouldn't have any kind of skin irritations if they do come in contact with your skin. The tags on the Yamilla pads are really easy to read um, and really helpful. So here is the company name, Amilla, and right after that there is a moon. On this pad it's a crescent moon and if you go back to the pamphlet that I had um, it indicates that it is a light flow or a liner pad. If you look down here, this one has a full moon and that indicates a heavy flow. So it's really easy to know which pad is which absorbency. If you look above the company name, you can see the name Aphrodite on this pad and the name Athene on this pad. So those are the different sizes or styles of the cut of the pad. And if you need to order more of a specific pad, the website is conveniently right on the tag. Behind these tags is an information and care tag. And uh, all of mine, I believe, are in Hungarian, so I can't really tell you exactly what they say. I know that she has tags that are in different languages. Um, I don't know which langu languages she carries, but if you need a specific language, you could probably ask her um, and she can help you with that. Here are the face of the pads that I received. Uh, I know that she has cute little names for each one of these, but I'm so bad that I didn't write them down. I know that this one was Rudolph the Red Flow Reindeer, and I believe this one was Jewel, but I'm not sure about these two. Both of these pads are the Aphrodite pad, which is the liner or the light flow pad. And if I set this one on top, you can see that it is smaller um, or more narrow. This is her regular style and the bottom one is the wide style. These pads are the same length and that measures 20 centimeters or approximately eight inches. The width on these, this one is five centimeters or approximately two inches, and this one is um, seven centimeters, which is just under three inches. The wider pad might be nice for somebody that likes to use a boy shorts more often. These ones are the Athene pads. They're 27 centimeters long, which is approximately 10 inches and they have a seven centimeter gusset which is just under three inches. These pads have a stitch by the wing, one to hold in the core and two so that the wings fold over easier when you are um, placing them around your underwear to snap. My daughter loves anime so this is going to her and she'll probably want me to order some more later. This pad is the pad that I was most excited about. Uh, and that is because this fabric here is made out of pineapple fiber. And when Monica and I talked about it, she sent over a video and I'm going to include the link in the description below. But the video did talk about the Philippines and I am part Filipino. So uh, I was really excited to see that. And also in Hawaii, pineapples were kind of our part of our culture. So um, I, again, I was excited to see what a pineapple fiber um, fabric was like. Another thing that made this really special was that Monica actually um, ice dyes this herself uh, by hand and blues and greens are my favorite colors so this pad is actually my favorite out of the bunch.
There are two last things from the Amilamade items, and um, this is a wet bag. It's a good size, great for storing your uh, cloth pads. It is lined on the inside with a waterproof liner, and I know you probably can't really see that. Um, but this bag measures 17 centimeters wide or six inches and about 12 inches, uh, 12 centimeters high, um, which is approximately five inches. So it's a good size bag. Uh, if you don't want to use it for your cloth pads, you can use it as a makeup bag. I know my eyeliner, my long eyeliner pencils would fit into that. And this last cute little bag is one of Monica's inventions. So this is a menstrual cut bag and it's just a regular drawstring bag at first. But if you look on the inside, it has a cup spot and that's not even the coolest thing. It is actually snapped on the inside to the bag so you will never lose your cup spot uh, or it's not going to be floating around in another larger bag getting everything in there soiled so it does have one of those snaps you can see it from the back of this side and what happens is when you go to empty out your cup you place this on the toilet um, roll dispenser and, or the toilet paper dispenser and you place your cup on top of this so that you know that your cup isn't touching any other icky surface in a public restroom and when you're done you just snap it right back into here and you close it up and then it's contained in its own little bag so that you know none of your other stuff is going to get soiled. Uh, some of you know that I make my own snap up cup spots and this is just a one up from mine so this is a cool little idea. Well that's all I have about the Amilla pads for now. Uh, I am bleeding. I actually have the Marula cup in. Um, I it inserted it last night and I wore it overnight. Uh, but I am excited about trying out the Amilla pads. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, you can leave a comment down below. And also let me know down below if you ordered any of the Amilla pads or any of the other Amilla goodies that I had featured in this video today. Until I see you next time, take care.